Welcome to Carolina Week Sports. I'm Brandon Curry. You've heard the story about the tortoise and the hare, and let me tell you about the turtle and the tar heel. Meet me over at Camp 2. As the women's basketball team dejectedly flew home from last year's women's Final Four in Boston, a chance for sweet revenge against the team that knocked them out, the Maryland Terrapins, was all that was on the heel's mind. Their largest crowd ever for an AB ACC women's basketball game. A few heels were able to make it out. The first points of the night belonged to Shea Duran with this three-pointer right here, a lead the Terrapins could not hold. Ivory Latta answers the call from a different area code, puts in the three, season-high 32 points on that night. She's happy, Tar Heel fans are happy, Maryland's coach is not sharing a few choice words with some officials. Maryland could not stop Latta, again putting in a three, tasting the sweet redemption after last year's tournament loss. Towards the end of the game, the Terps cut Carolina's lead, Duran here putting more points on the board. Here she is again making this jumper look too easy. But they had no answer for Camille Little, who despite an injury scored 17 points. Heels win 84-71. Coach Hatchell praised Little and the other seniors. They wanted it. They wanted it badly too. Um, you know, Camille's tough. I mean, she wasn't going to, go even though she was hurt, she what? wasn't going to come out of there because it just meant that much. And we talked about playing with a lot of heart, and uh, they showed the whole country a lot of heart last night. Now, the men's team isn't as undefeated like the ladies are, but the guys are still doing pretty well. Pretty well. After a big out-of-conference win against Arizona on Saturday, the Heels are 19-2, and two, ranked fourth in the country, and perhaps most important, second in the all-important RPI power ratings. Carolina returns to action Wednesday against Miami. Friday, the Wahoos of UVA came to Carmichael Auditorium for a little mat action. Three different Carolina wrestlers were able to rally and help seal the win against the ACC rival. It was not one of the more exciting meets of the year, but a win is a win. There's some very close matches. This one, Carolina had them going down game two against it. This one, UVA barely escapes a pin getting saved by the buzzer. The match of the night, though, belonged to this guy, Mike Rappo. He beat his opponent in an overtime victory, earning a UNC lead it would not relinquish. And moving from one Virginia opponent to another, the wrestling team faced Virginia Tech on Saturday in their last home match of the year. It was senior day for Spencer Nadosky here with his mom. Now that is adorable. Nadosky made a huge contribution with this major decision in the heavyweight bout. Then freshman Ben Fiacco wraps his leg around this guy for the takedown. Now tied up at nine, another freshman, Dennis Drury, picks up this pin to give the heels a big lead. They go on to win and are now 3-1 and one in the ACC. This weekend, Carolina's track and field teams hosted the UNC Fast Times Meet, a two-day indoor event. On the first day, one Carolina star shined brighter than the rest. Freshman Callie Pointinger outran all the other comp competitors in the 400-meter dash with a time of 56.19 seconds. After day one, Carolina took two events. Moving on to Saturday, it was a day of firsts for the Tar Heel track team. The Heels captured seven event titles. Check out Edward Baldwin III. The freshman soared 20 feet 11 inches, earning his first collegiate long jump title. In addition, Ian Reynolds placed third in the shot put, while Tyra Johnson sped away with a second place finish in the women's 60 meter dash. The men's and women's swimming and diving team had their last dual meet of the season on Saturday morning against the Maryland Terrapins. And this was the final dual meet for head coach Frank Comfort right here, who's coached the Heels for 30 years. The Heels wanted to send him out a winner, and that's exactly what they did. Carolina took first place in 28 out of 32 swimming and diving events. What a way to end their last home meet. The Tar Heel men swept the Terps 204 to 90, and the women won 205 to 83. Comfort has won more dual meets than any other coach in college swimming history. And I'm going to take it back to women's basketball real quick. Ivory Lada has been named ACC Player of the Week. Wow, that's amazing. amazing. Well, thank you, Brandon. Well, have you ever wondered if that button at the crosswalk really works? Hey, maybe you're just pushing it just because it's there. Well, we put those buttons to the test, and what we found might surprise you.